A year has passed since that horrible day, October 7th, 2023. I remember the first video I made. I was just destroyed. I was torn apart. I was miserable and crying. I was furious. I felt betrayed. It was just a nightmare, a horrible, horrible nightmare. And now a year has passed and you ask me how I feel? I feel worse because the people responsible are still in power. Netanyahu still holds my children's future in his hands. And Hamas hold the future of Gazan children in their hands. Is that acceptable in any way? The entire region is speaking only the language of violence. More bombs, more missiles, more war, more bloodshed and fear, so much fear. How have we not managed to move on from that? Is that the only language we know around here? We've lost so much. So many lives, so many children, so many dreams and homes and family members, and 101 hostages still being held in Gaza. I mean, come on. It's a nightmare. We've lost all of this, and what do we do? What are we going to do? So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a personal commitment on this day to open my heart, to continue opening it. As vast as the universe, my heart will be. And it will contain all of the pain, everyone's pain, on both sides. All of the narratives, all of the tears and the dreams. I want to hold it all. I need to hold it all. So that I can heal it all in myself and for everyone around me. I commit to forgiveness. And that's no easy task. I heard Maozinon, whose parents were both massacred, say that he chooses forgiveness. Because otherwise, he is in the prison of vengeance and hatred. Well, forgiveness is freedom. And I choose dialogue and compassion and compromise. I choose peace. And I want to manifest my choices in my body and spirit and soul, in my voice, in my actions. I want to be that change that I seek. I want to be the light. That is my commitment. How about you?